beginning golfer looking to improve contact with the irons and stop the ball from leaking out to the right as the clubs get longer. So if you can see that action, that's a pretty good move with a line on the lead hip and top of the head. Looking at your grip, standard issue position, but you would benefit from a little bit forward shaft lean to get the cup out of your left wrist and try to flatten that out just a little bit, but looks good from the start. When you make your takeaway move, the hips will stay pretty centered, and you'll get a great reach of your right arm to the top. And for any of those who struggle with keeping the left arm straight to the top, that right arm remaining straight is a great way to go about fixing that. Although it will feel very strange and awkward as you do it, you've got to trust it. Now you've taken that movement of keeping the trail arm straight and done it way too long as you pass P3 with that arm still straight and it's going to cause your hands to lift too high above your head, which is now standing up as well. With a slight little rock off the line, you're still doing fine, and your kinetic sequence of beginning that downswing is actually very good. With a sit to your left side, and then a clearance of your lower body, looks like the club is lagging behind you, and that contact point isn't too bad, striking down the ball. So if you are a new golfer, I just believe time will help you be more consistent with that ball strike. More of a technical solution would have to be drawn from your other view here, which is more down the line. So viewing this, you can see that the posture isn't quite as solid as it looked from the face on, nor is that grip as it's a little bit palmy here. Watch out for that. Get it more down in the fingers. Stand up in your spine angle. And then this next move, I think, is going to be the first thing you want to try to do. Although you keep those arms straight as you begin that takeaway, you would like to get more depth to the top. Keep most everything the same from P1 to P2, but past this position, club parallel to the ground, your hands are continuing up, and you don't get much more shoulder turn to get the arms behind you enough to the top. That's going to lead to a steep top of the backswing, a steep downswing, and that fade from left to right, pronounced more as the clubs get longer. So it's really just a couple things that you can go after here, as you're turning, let's clear that line out. Let's watch your trail foot right here. As you're turning in the backswing, you keep the arm straight, but try to get a little bit more back toward your instep of the right heel. That's going to keep your hips back, shoulder in position, and allow that arm to get flatter as well. Once you're already balancing on both of your toes here, you're leaning over a bit more and likely to either jump out of your way or just stay on your toes and get too close to the ball and strike it on the heel, which could also cause some of that fade. But there's a few things to try to touch up on that. A lot of balance and weight movement and your positions to the top. But good luck with those changes. Sendaswing.com.